Today I'd like to share with you a story of a single event which yielded three very unexpected lessons. When the universe calls, will you answer? This is what happened to my husband and me last year when a woman driving 45 miles an hour through a red light crashed into our car going 45 miles an hour through a green light and four airbags went off in our car. Our brains were jumbled and I couldn't see my husband at first. I reached out to him and I said, oh, 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 honey, are you okay? He weakly said yes. The gases and dust from the airbags filled the car and made my husband think that the car was on fire. He tried to get me out of the car repeatedly. I would not get out of the car. My chest and my neck hurt so badly I was afraid to do more harm. So I quickly dialed 911 as onlookers and witnesses came into the intersection to see if we were okay. And the woman who hit us was standing there as well. But I didn't know it at the time. As the passenger, I saw this coming. And there is a metaphor in there. My husband didn't. This incident, it wasn't an accident, as you'll see, resulted in three enormous lessons and led to one of the biggest decisions of my life, one I had been putting off for years. The universe was calling me big time. And I was soon to learn more about accepting what is brought to me, not procrastinating, and the power of forgiveness. My first lesson was that there are signs around each of us every day. We can choose to be open to them, to explore them, to find opportunities in them, and to follow through on them, or not. And once you begin to see the signs, your life path and journey will become clearer too. For example, you've been thinking about taking action on something for some time now, but you keep putting it off. And all of a sudden, you get a sign that makes you realize you should go ahead and do this. Don't procrastinate anymore. This is the universe calling. Or do you spend almost as much time on your job as you do in your career? Maybe this is the universe offering you a different way of making money and being fulfilled. Explore that. Or you've been counting on something, you've been planning on it for some time, you're so excited, and then it gets canceled. You're very disappointed. But is there a sign there? Is there a message? Was this meant to be for some reason? Possibly. Intuition is a sign from the universe too. Be aware, because all it takes is a slight shift in your energy, a little voice in your head, or a niggling in your gut. You know that feeling, we all have it. But how often do we push it down? We don't want to hear what it has to say. Scientists and psychologists have actually studied intuition and found that it's almost always correct. Listen to it. This is the universe calling, and it is a trustworthy sign. It will be easier to deal with now than down the road. Too often we see signs, and we say they're minor or meaningless, or we call them coincidences. I personally don't believe in coincidences. And as I was soon to find out, ignoring some signs can have life-threatening consequences. The day after our car incident, the hospital where we were taken by ambulance called me and said they found a spot on my lung in the x-ray they had taken the night before. And I needed to call my primary care physician right away. I felt like a train hit me this time. I put down the phone and my mind was in a fog. What could they possibly be referring to? I've never smoked. I don't drink. I eat healthy. In fact, I'm really healthy. So in the next week, I got a CAT scan. My specialist found a 15 millimeter nodule in my left lung, which was considered suspicious. Well, then the waiting began. I had to wait over three months before the next CAT scan to see if the nodule grew, got smaller, stayed the same, or disappeared. It was one of the toughest times of my life, and my mind often went to the negative. However, during this time, the universe also brought me positive signs to calm my overactive mind. One day in early December, where I live in the Northeast, 
two bluebirds came onto our patio. And we have a table and four chairs there. One bluebird landed on my husband's chair. One bluebird landed on my chair. Crazy, right? And in December, and I've never seen bluebirds ever before this. And I haven't since. Well, this sign was not lost on me. I immediately looked up the spiritual meaning of bluebirds and its joy, peace, happiness, and good health. This brought tears to my eyes. And to this day, bluebirds are very special to me. Another day, I was in our local bookstore and they had these little post-it notes placed around various shelves with encouraging sayings. And they said such things as, everything's going to be all right, and you're stronger than you think. I was walking around the store reading all these sayings. I couldn't believe they were there. Of course, I thought they were all put there for me. And again, the universe was trying to relax me during a very challenging time. These really helped me, and I still think about those little post-it notes. So just over three months later, I went and had my next CAT scan it showed the nodule to be about the same size. Sounds good, right? Not necessarily. My specialist was still very concerned because of the size of it, and then it hadn't gotten, gotten smaller and it hadn't disappeared. So he said he'd be happy to refer me to a surgeon or I could research on my own, but I needed to get it out of there sooner versus later. His words exactly as I was leaving his office. So, I'm very happy to say that I'm grateful eight days later, I got in to see the chief of thoracic surgery of a very well-known, highly regarded hospital in Philadelphia. And he scheduled my lung surgery, to my surprise, eight days after that. Well, see, he felt that this nodule was likely not benign. And now time was of the essence. But the great ending to this message is that this car incident saved my life. This was no accident. The nodule was stage one. And I went through a quite painful three and a half month recovery due to major invasive surgery where they cut out a segment of my lung and lymph nodes. The good news is the nodule was self-contained it had not spread. I didn't need any treatments. I am so blessed. Seeing these signs and accepting what was brought to me was my first unexpected lesson. It also taught me not to procrastinate. About a week after the car incident, I knew the universe had called me and I needed to answer, not just about my medical situation, but about selling my education business that I had birthed 33 years ago. See, I had been dabbling with the idea of selling, and I had been getting my company ready for years. But honestly, I just never had that courage to let it go and to put it on the market. Well, three weeks after this incident, I signed on with an amazing business broker to start the process of selling my business, my baby. It was time. Apparently, I needed this big sign from the universe that life can change in an instant. This was no longer about my fear of change and my emotional and egotistical ties to the business, which kept me there. This was about moving on. It was about my next chapter in life, which I was more than ready for. The universe called, and I was finally answering. I didn't need to be hit twice. Heeding this sign allowed me to successfully sell my company six months after it was put on the market to incredible new owners who have allayed all of my unwarranted fears and exceeded my expectations. Now I can continue to change lives through speaking from the big stage. I am so grateful for this car incident. It allowed me to release and to have a fresh start. Now for the third and final lesson, the forgiveness piece, which is a part of this journey. The night of the car crash, in the hospital, the woman who hit us walked by me as I was lying on a gurney in the hallway with a big neck brace on. She was very distraught. She was remorseful, apologetic, nearly in tears. 
She kept saying over and over again how sorry she was and she hoped she hadn't hurt me. I asked her to come over to the bed. I put my hand in hers and I said, I forgive you. You didn't mean to do this. I just want you to learn from it, to slow down in life in general. See, at the car crash, I had gotten her message immediately, if not mine, right away. Well, I've since called her so that we could meet face to face and I could give her a bouquet of flowers for my gratitude and to tell her she saved my life and changed my life and to see if she had changed her life in any, from this incident in any way. Well, we had a wonderful dinner together. We spent quite a bit of time getting to know each other. We have a lot in common, actually. She said yes. She, too, saw this as a sign. And she has slowed down. I was so happy to hear this. Now, my three lessons were complete. Accepting what is brought to me, not procrastinating, and the power of forgiveness. I wish you all many signs that you see, hear, and feel, which change your lives for the better. Remember, the universe is calling. Will you answer this time? <laughs>